VEO3 just became open sourced. Yeah, you heard that right, an actual open source version of VO3 is out, and this changes everything. The best part? It's completely free, totally safe, and nothing shady or illegal. You can use it to generate any kind of video you want, and when I say any kind, you know exactly what I mean. Now here's where it gets even crazier. Because it's open source, you can run it locally on your own computer, or you can run it straight from your browser without downloading a thing. That way you don't risk frying your system with heavy installs, and yes you can even run it on your phone. That kind of flexibility is rare, and that's why this tool is already starting to make serious noise. And that's not all. China also dropped a powerful video generator you can use both online and offline, plus another open source tool that's been flying under the radar. Together, these platforms give you everything you need to create realistic videos with no weird distortions, no morphing, and no limits. For short-form creators, I'll also show you a platform that lets you pump out trending shorts for TikTok, YouTube, and Instagram super fast, super easy, and literally just one credit to generate. On top of that, I'll reveal where you can actually sell your AI content and make money from it, and that's a platform called FanView. This video is stacked with a lot, so make sure you keep watching till the end. And of course, if you want my free document on how to make money with AI, all you have to do is like this video, subscribe to the channel, and leave a positive comment. Once my AI detects you've done that, it'll automatically send it your way. And one last thing before we dive in, make sure to join the Discord server. We're launching some crazy AI automation projects in there very soon, and trust me, you don't want to miss out. Alright, let's get into this step by step. Today, I'm going to show you something really special, and trust me, you've probably never seen it broken down like this before. We're talking about a China-based open source video generator that's been quietly producing insane results. Now, before anyone gets the wrong idea, let me make it clear, this is not a hack, it's not shady, it's not illegal. Everything I'm about to walk you through is completely safe, open, and available to the public if you just know where to look. Now here's what makes this tool different from most of the ones you've seen floating around online. You can run it in two different ways. You can set it up locally on your computer, so the whole thing runs off your hardware and gives you more control. Or, if you don't have a strong computer, or you just want something fast and simple, you can run it online directly in your browser with zero setup. That means it doesn't matter if you're a beginner or advanced, there's an option for you either way. But here's the plan. Before I reveal that China-based one, I want to warm you up with two other open source video generators that you can start using immediately. These will help you understand the flow, give you an idea of what's possible, and by the time we get to the big one, you'll already be ready to use it without confusion. Think of these two as your practice runs. So let's start. Step 1. Open your browser and type in, Hugging Face. If you've never heard of it, Hugging Face is basically like the home base for AI projects worldwide. It's where developers, researchers, and independent creators upload their work so other people can test, improve, and build on top of it. It's kind of like the GitHub of AI, but with live demos you can actually click and use. Once you're on Hugging Face, head up to the top and click on Spaces. Now here's where it gets interesting. Inside Spaces, you're going to find literally thousands of AI tools. And when I say thousands, I mean everything from chatbots, text to image generators, voice cloning tools, music creators, even experimental stuff like AI fashion models and AI scientists. It's wild. But of course, we don't need all of that right now. What we're looking for is under a specific category so go ahead and filter by video generation. This will narrow things down so you're only looking at tools that actually produce moving visuals. And trust me, this is where some hidden gems are sitting. Now, the first one I want to show you is a model called LTX Video. If you've been following me for a while, you might remember I mentioned it briefly in the past. But for anyone who hasn't seen it yet, let me break it down. LTX Video is fairly new compared to the older open source models, but it's already producing shockingly good results. When you open it up, you'll see an option to control the video duration. By default, it's only 0.3 seconds, which is super short. But here's the trick, you can stretch that all the way up to 8.5 seconds. And, in AI video generation, even a clean 5 second output is considered a win. So being able to push it up to 8.5 gives you way more room to work with. From there, you've got two main paths. Option 1, upload an image. This lets the AI take your still picture and bring it to life by animating it. Option 2, skip the image and just type in text, and the model will build the whole video from scratch. To give you an idea, there's a default prompt already sitting there when you load it up, a majestic dragon flying over a medieval castle. If you click generate video, the system will literally output a short video clip of that scene, 
and even though it's only a few seconds, the detail is sharp enough that you'll actually want to use it in projects. Now, I'm not going to sit here and generate the clip right now because I want to keep this video focused. And here's the kicker, if you don't want to depend on Hugging Face's online servers, you can set this up locally on your machine. There's a GitHub link right there on the page. If you click it and scroll down, you'll find all the instructions you need, how to install it, how to run it, and how to start generating videos straight from your computer. Head back to Hugging Face Spaces. Scroll down a bit further, and this time you'll see something called V3 Free. And this one is really exciting, because it's essentially a free version that tries to replicate some of the capabilities of premium tools like VO3. It's open, it's flexible, and it's completely free. And that's exactly what I'll break down for you next. When you first open this one, don't panic if it looks a little complicated. The interface has a lot of sliders, text boxes, and extra options packed onto one page. At first glance it might feel overwhelming, but once you know what each section does, it's actually very straightforward. Right at the top, you'll notice it comes with a default prompt already filled in. This is basically the sample text it uses to show you what's possible. But here's where things get more advanced compared to LTX Video V3 Free, gives you the option to add audio prompts. That means you can influence the style and pacing of the video, using sound as well as text. That's something you don't often see in free or open source tools. Just below that, you'll see a section for video prompt suggestions. These are quick ideas you can try out if you don't feel like writing your own from scratch. And right next to that, there's a section for negative prompts. Negative prompts let you tell the AI what you don't want in your video. For example, if you type, no distortion, no blurry faces, no flickering, the AI will actually work to avoid those mistakes while generating. This is really useful if you're aiming for cleaner, professional results. So let's do a test run. I'll type in something simple like, a sports car racing. Nothing too crazy, but good enough to see how well the physics and motion work. Once that's in, all I have to do is scroll down and click generate with audio. Now watch what happens, the system immediately starts building the video. And here's what's shocking, for an open source tool, it's actually really fast. You don't sit around waiting forever. Within moments, you'll see frames coming together, and before you know it, you've got a playable video ready to preview. So let's take a look at the result. The video downloads, and right away you can see it's clean. The car moves smoothly, the wheels actually rotate correctly, and the overall flow feels realistic. For free tech, that's pretty crazy. You can tell it's not just generating random shapes, it's actually applying motion physics to objects. And here's the best part, you're not limited to just cars, or simple objects. With the right prompts, you could be generating city fly-throughs, cinematic landscapes, sci-fi scenes, abstract loops, or even short story clips. It all depends on your creativity. On top of that, you have the ability to adjust the video length. If the default feels too short, just bump up the seconds and let the AI render a longer clip. That's a huge advantage because most free generators lock you into only one or two seconds. Here, you have more flexibility. And imagine the possibilities here. You could use this same model to generate monetizable content. Think of those YouTube shorts or TikTok clips where people use AI visuals as the background while narrating stories, facts, or even motivational lines. This tool could power that kind of content consistently. Now, of course, I know some of you watching already recognize another name in this space WAN 2.1 and WAN 2.2. They're also solid open source generators, and I'll touch on those in just a second, because they're worth knowing. Alright, so now that you've seen what V3 Free can do, let's take a quick look at a couple of other open source tools that deserve some attention. The first one is called WAN 2.2. Some of you might have already heard of it, maybe even tried WAN 2.1 before. These models are a little older compared to the brand new projects on Hugging Face, but they still deliver surprisingly solid results. The interface is simple. You upload an image, hit generate video, and it animates the image into motion. No complicated steps, no endless settings, just upload, click, and watch it go. Now, it might not look as flashy as the newer tools, but WAN 2.2 has one big advantage stability. It doesn't glitch out as often, and the results are consistent enough to be used for content that needs reliability. Think of it as that dependable option you can always fall back on when you don't want surprises. From there, let's switch to something a bit more experimental, multi-talk inference demo. This one's really fun because it's not just about generating visuals, it's about combining voice and visuals together. All you do is open the demo, type in your script, and then upload an image or video. The AI syncs everything together, generating outputs that line up sound and visuals in a surprisingly natural way. For example, you could take a still image of a person, type out a line of dialogue, and suddenly you've got a video where that character is talking with synced audio. Or you could upload a background image, add some narration text, and it builds a whole clip around it. The cool part is how flexible at Island. 
If you're into creating conversational style videos, explainer content, or even AI skits, this tool is perfect for that. And here's the best part, both WAN 2.2 and Multitalk are available directly inside Hugging Face. You don't need to do complicated installs unless you want to run them locally. Just head to the demo pages, test them out, and you'll see exactly why they're worth bookmarking. Now, I know what you're thinking all of this is great, but what about the Chinese open source video generator I've been hyping since the beginning? That's the one that really changes the game. Because while tools like LTX Video, V3 Free, and WAN 2.2 are great for testing and building smaller clips, this China-based project is on another level. Alright, now let's finally get into the part I've been teasing the China-based open source video generator. So here's how it works. Once you click the link, it's inside the Discord for those who want to follow along, you'll be brought to a clean interface. On the sidebar, you'll notice different categories like raw video model, raw image model, and even 3D model previews. Each of these sections is powerful in its own way, so let's break them down one by one. Start with the raw video model, click into it, and right away you'll see a showcase of sample clips people have generated. And these aren't the weird, distorted clips you might be used to from free AI tools. These look sharp, realistic, and smooth. For example, you'll see a clip of a lion roaring, the detail in the fur, the way the jaw moves, it feels natural. Then there's a windmill spinning in the desert, and the motion physics are spot on. No jittery morphing, no strange artifacts, just clean AI motion that looks like real video. Now, switch over to the raw image model. This is where you can generate consistent images to use as a base for your videos. What's cool here is that it supports advanced prompt enhancements. That means the AI actually guides you to refine your prompts so you get higher quality results every single time. And again, no hacks, nothing shady, everything here is open, free, and safe to use. But it doesn't stop there. One of my favorite parts of this tool is the 3D model preview. You can literally spin models around, check out different angles, and even preview how characters or objects move in a 360 environment. For example, there's a demo of a robot slowly turning, and another of a soldier doing a 360 rotation. These previews might sound simple, but when you think about using them as assets for short-form videos, the potential is massive. And here's the kicker you don't even need a powerful PC to use this. If you've got a decent internet connection, you can run it fully online. But if you do want to push it harder, there are instructions to install it locally via GitHub. Scroll down, and you'll see installation guides for Linux, Windows, and even some general formats for other systems. It's all laid out step by step. That means no matter what setup you have, you can make this work. Now, let's talk about the results. Scroll down the page, and you'll see preview clips of what other users have made. And trust me, this is where it hits different. We're talking about videos that could easily be mistaken for something produced by VO3, or even paid tools like Kling or Sora. Smooth camera movements, detailed environments, no broken physics. The quality is so good that most people wouldn't believe it was AI unless you told them. Now, of course, not everyone wants to dive straight into long-form cinematic videos. A lot of people are creating short-form content right now, TikToks, Reels, Shorts, and they're asking, okay, but how do I make these fast, trendy clips without spending hours editing? That's where this platform comes in clutch. It has a feature called Text Story, and honestly, it's one of my favorites. It's super simple, but also super powerful. Before I break that down, let me show you some of the other features built into the same platform. First up, you've got Smart Cut Clips. This one automatically scans a long video and picks out the most viral, engaging parts. It trims it down, adds subtitles, and gives you a polished short in minutes. Imagine uploading a 20-minute podcast or stream and instantly walking away with five or six shorts ready to post. That's what Smart Cut does. Next, there's the Streamer Clipper designed specifically for people who stream on Twitch. It detects hype moments and instantly repackages them into clips you can post for more reach. And, of course, the classic one, the Reddit Story Generator. This one has been going viral for years now. So let's test the Reddit Story tool real quick. Just click Generate now. The first thing it asks for is a script. If you don't already have one, no worries ChatGPT can write it for you in seconds. Copy your script, paste it in here, and hit Generate. Instantly, the AI will format it into a neat story ready to be turned into video. No stress, no complicated editing. From here, the fun begins. You click move forward and choose a font. For me, I usually stick with Roboto because it looks clean, but you can pick anything that fits your vibe. Hit move forward again, and now it's time to choose a background style. Personally, I like Minecraft because it always performs well, but let's say this time we go with Trackmania. It's bright, colorful, and keeps the viewer hooked. Next step, voices. 
This platform gives you a list of AI voices you can use. For example, I'll pick Adam for the narrator. It's a solid, natural sounding male voice that works great for stories. Once that's locked in, click forward again and hit export. Here's the insane part. The entire video costs just two credits. That's it. In under a minute, you've got a ready to post video. And when you preview it, check this out. As I unwrapped the cone, my eyes landed on the vibrant swirly pattern at the top, mint chip. My mouth began to water at the thought of the cool treat melting into a creamy mess. I took a deep breath, anticipating the first bite. The cold of the ice cream made my heart skip a beat. Why did it always hurt? See how clean and natural that feels? These clips are exactly the type that rack up hundreds of thousands of views on TikTok, Shorts, and Instagram. They're quick to produce, but they keep audiences hooked. And the best part you can monetize them. Now, let's go a step further. This platform also has the text story generator, which I personally love. It lets you create those viral iMessage style conversations you've probably seen blowing up online. The process is the same. Pick your style, add your script, select the contact name, let's just call it Zero, for this demo. Choose a background, say, Minecraft again for fun. And then assign AI voices for both sides of the conversation. Maybe Sarah for one side, and Amir for the other. Export the video, and this time it only takes one credit. Crazy, right? Bro, you won't believe Now this. look what at this happened? example. You know when you get brain freeze from ice cream? Yeah, worst pain ever. It's not actually your head freezing. Wait, what? It's your blood vessels in the roof of your mouth shrinking and swelling super fast. Pain signals get sent to your brain. Feels like your skull is freezing. Bruh, so how do I stop it? Easy. Funny, engaging, super realistic, and that's exactly what makes these clips addictive to watch. And here's something extra. On this same platform, there's a page review feature. You can literally submit your profile, and they'll review it for free. They'll give you feedback on how to improve your page, get more reach, and grow your account. No charges, no upsell, just free advice. That's rare. Alright, so now let's talk about the part everyone's waiting for monetization, because it's one thing to generate all these crazy videos, but the real question is, how do you actually turn them into income? That's where FanView comes in. Think of it as a platform built specifically for creators who want to sell their AI content. It's 100% safe, not shady, and trusted by big creators already making a living off their work. All you need to do is sign up, start posting your videos, and when people subscribe to your page, you get paid. It this is not a get-rich scheme, all you need to do is put your effort and stay consistent. And remember, if you want the free guide that explains exactly how to scale your AI content and grow faster, the link is waiting for you in the Discord. Plus, that's also where we're dropping free AI resources and launching automation projects soon. If the video helped you out remember to like, share, and subscribe for more AI content.